Hey guys, welcome back to Abby Creates. So, so I recently did a video and it was how to install The Sims 4 on your MacBook Air and how to add mods. Since posting that video, I feel like I've replied to maybe like 60 different comments about about The Sims 4 not working, Origin doesn't work, my game's not loading, I'm getting an error message, says it's not compatible, all these different issues with trying to get The Sims 4 to load on your MacBook Air. So I'm gonna just go through and tell you guys how to fix the solution. I'm not an EA expert or anything like that. Yes, I've been playing The Sims for a long time, but um, I can't answer every single question about why your Mac isn't responding the way it should. But if you followed the instructions in my last video, you should be fine. However, some of you guys still ran into issues, so let's go over those issues. It said only available on Windows. So you've downloaded The Sims 4 through Origin, and then when you try to play it, it says only available through Windows. That error message tells me that instead of purchasing The Sims 4, you decided to purchase the Origin uh, monthly subscription service and then try and get The Sims 4 for free. That is not what you're supposed to do because that service is only for Windows. The EA Play Store is available for Mac users because there are hundreds of other games available on the EA Store. However, The Sims is not one of the games that you can get for free and download and play through Origin if you have Origin EA Play. So if you wanna play The Sims, you have to have the free, I repeat, free Origin account, and then you have to buy, purchase The Sims 4. I don't know how much it costs. I believe it's still probably $39.99. It might be less now, actually, since it's like six years old or however many years old The Sims 4 is, but you have to purchase The Sims 4. You cannot get any other way around it. You cannot purchase it through another app. You cannot do any other program. You have to purchase the Sims 4 through Origin. Do not, I repeat, do not purchase the Origin EA Play subscription service of any kind. Do not do that. Just use the free account and purchase the Sims 4 game individually through Origin. Hopefully that sticks with you guys because so many of you guys decided to buy the EA subscription service thinking you'll get to play the Sims 4 for free on your Mac but you cannot, that service is only available for free through a Windows if you have a subscription service. So I repeat, do not purchase the Origin EA Play Store subscription service. Just purchase The Sims 4 on its own, the individual game. Okay, hopefully that helped you guys. Next question. Okay, so those of you are asking about the fans on the Mac. So there are three versions of the MacBook. There may be a fourth, I'm not sure. But the first version of the MacBook Air is the MacBook Air with the i3 processor. If you have a 2020 MacBook Air with an i3 processor, then that means your Sims 4 game is not gonna run smoothly. It will run, but it won't be a very good gameplay and there's nothing you can do about it because you have an i3 processor. And The Sims 4 needs an i5 processor in order for it to be a nice, smooth, seamless gameplay. So the next type of MacBook Air is the MacBook Air with an i5 processor which is what I have. And that is what I'm referring to when I say play on the MacBook Air. Both the i3 and the i5 have fans in the computers. Those fans help keep the computer to keep the computer at a internal temperature that it can handle and it stops it from overheating. So that's why you hear the fan on. When you play The Sims, the fan is blasting because The Sims takes a lot of power and the fan is keeping the MacBook at a temperature that it can handle. If you were covering the fans or if you're stopping the fans from letting the air flow through, then yeah, your MacBook's gonna overheat. So use your MacBook on a table, on a lap desk. You can leave it on your lap. Just don't cover up the fans at the back. Um, I never ever had an issue playing The Sims 4 on my MacBook Pro back in the day, which was a 2013 MacBook Pro and it had an i5 processor then. Same exact processor. And I played The Sims and recorded hun like 100 Sims videos on this channel on that MacBook. So yeah. Other type of MacBook, which is the most recently released MacBook, which is the MacBook Air with the M1 chip. So this does not have a fan. If you have the M1 MacBook, then you don't have to worry a thing about overheating because there is no fan 
it's a completely different system inside of the computer and it's really not even comparable to the i5 or the i3. I've never used an M1 processor Mac, but an M1's supposed to be better than an i5, and if an i5 works great, then the M1's gonna be great too, so. Okay, so let's say you're trying to download Origin and you get a big old fat stop sign. Now that means it's possible that the browser's stopping you from downloading the correct version. This has happened to a lot of people, and I don't really don't know why uh, Google Chrome does this to a lot of people. So my first solution is instead of Chrome, open it up in Safari and download it through Safari. It should give you the correct version of Origin for your Mac. If you don't want to use Safari, like you just really hate Safari and you don't want to do it, then you can go directly to www.dm.origin.com forward slash Mac forward slash download. That is the direct download link to get the Origin platform on your Mac from the Origin website. So instead of going through all the different clicky links, links, links all over the place on Origin, just go to that, go to that link specifically. I will leave it in the description box down below. Go to that link specifically and then you guys will be able to download the correct version for your Mac and you should not have any issues downloading and installing Origin with that link. Let's say you open up the game and your game is crashing. Now there's lots of different reasons why your game could be crashing. Um, I honestly couldn't pinpoint the exact reason for you guys, but I'm gonna give you some common things. Um, one, it could be that you have other things running in the background and you're running on an i3 processor on your Mac. That's usually what happens. A lot of people don't realize they're running on an i3, not an i5. And if you wanna check what kind of processor you have, but you should know this already when you purchased your Mac, but if you click on the Apple symbol in the top left corner, then go to hit about this Mac, then it will tell you if you have um, an Intel Core i3 or an Intel Core i5 or whatever else kind of processor in your machine. Another reason for it crashing could be that you don't have Origin open. You have to run Origin to play your game. I know that The Sims 4 creates a little symbol in your applications folder where you can double click on The Sims to open it. Don't do that, guys. Just open up Origin, log in, click on The Sims through there and click play through there. It will avoid all other issues because The Sims 4 needs Origin to play because so many things are integrated with Origin within the game. Um, the gallery, all the, like using the gallery, all those other things, it calculates like how much time you've played the game and there's like little notifications that pops up like, ooh, you've been playing for five hours straight. Like little things like that is connected directly through Origin. And so it requires Origin to be open in order for you to play. So don't try and click the Sims 4 icon without opening Origin and clicking the Sims 4 through there. Like you have to click it through there. Do not click the, the icon because it will either crash or it's gonna cause your game to lag or you're gonna have issues when you're playing. So yeah, just don't do it. Oh yeah, another thing, you wanna make sure you turn on automatic updates for Origin. Keep your Origin updated at all times because if you don't, you can run into glitches where it's saying, oh, your Origin is out of date or this Origin version is not working or whatever. And in that case, you can always click on the link that, I've, that I just talked about before and directly download the latest version of Origin or you'll have to just go back to the website and download the latest version on your own. So make sure in Origin, you go to the settings and, and turn on automatic updates. All right, and then another question I've had, surprisingly a couple times, um, it's about custom content. Should I download custom content? Will I get a virus if I download custom content? Is custom content free? And is it safe to put on my MacBook? So um, to answer all of this in a nutshell, yes. <laughs> so custom content is free. Um, no, it won't put a virus on your computer, but if you download the custom content from a shady website that has a bunch of pop-ups that the pop-ups could cause a virus on your computer if you click on something really random. So that's why I always say I'm not, I, I, I'm a true advocate for The Sims resource. I'm not like sponsored by them or anything like that. I literally use The Sims resource myself to get all of my custom content because it's safe for me. I trust them and so I've been using them for I've been using them since I've been playing The Sims 3 and I've never ever had an issue either on my MacBook, on my Windows, on anything. It's all completely safe. So I use them. However, there is Tumblr and Tumblr has a very large selection of downloads 
available for you to put in your game. So you have to use your own discretion. If you're going to go, if you're going to go on Tumblr, just know that these are just random people who have created custom content and posted it on their Tumblr accounts. And said, "Hey, click my link, download my custom content." You have to decide whether you feel that that link is a safe link, and when you click on it, you're actually going to get the custom content that you asked for and not a virus along with it. So you have to kind of just use your own discretion. If the link looks shady, if the website looks shady, if like look and see if people have commented like, oh, this is fake or this is giving me a virus or whatever. Like see what the reactions are. See if lots of people have it, lots of people don't. Don't just click anything because it looks nice. Like make sure you kind of give it a good uh, check first because you can definitely download a virus on your computer by getting stuff from random websites. But like I said, Sims resource. I'm not gonna say it again. So many of you guys have had the same issues. Hopefully these tips were helpful. I tried to be specific in the last video. Hopefully this is a little bit more specific. If you guys have more questions and wanna ask me, feel free, comment down below and I will try and answer. I've tried to reply to everyone in the last one and I will try and reply to everyone in this one if you have any more concerns or questions about the game. However, I'm not an expert, just a sim player, okay? So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Or if this helped you in any way, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you've just found my channel. Check out some of my creative videos and check out my creative Instagram, Abby Creates, where I'm doing lots of art prints, lots of fun, creative things, my creative rainbows. And I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.